All right, so we're going to talk about the importance of slope. Um, if you've been keeping up with the podcast, this was the last one where we had this crazy situation with walking dude, running dudette, reverse angle dude, um, toddler, all that good stuff. So this is my crazy one. Remember that? Here's a much prettier computer generated one. Um, so if you look over here, you can see walking dude, reverse angle dude, um, you know, so you see reverse angle dude there. We've got walking dude, we've got a uh, toddler down here, and then we've got our running dudette up there. And so basically the whole point is that the larger the slope, the bigger the number, or the steeper it is, um, the faster the velocity is, the more um, quicker that it is traveling per every um, second of time. So the steeper it is, like over here, the faster it is, and the uh, least steep or more horizontal trending um, means that it's slower. Okay, so let's talk about negative slopes on distance versus time. So this is similar to our um, reverse angle dude. So first off, let's look at these and decide if they are uniform or non-uniform. Hopefully, you're saying uniform because these are straight lines here. Remember, non-uniform is going to give us a curve on a distance versus time or position versus time graph. So, basically, um, we want to talk about what's happening in these graphs. So, essentially, what they're doing is they are starting away from the origin. So, they are starting on the opposite side um, from where people normally would. They're not starting at the origin, which we think of as zero, zero. Um, they are starting some distance away, and then they're going towards the origin over time. So that's what both of these graphs are indicating with that negative slope and that positive x, positive y uh, coordinate plane. So if you're looking at this graph versus this graph now, we can see that the slope on the second one is steeper. And basically that what is what it tells us is that they're traveling faster. Their velocity is greater than this one up here, which is a little more horizontal, less steep. All right, so we need to be able to also look at a graph and tell what it's showing us instead of just making graphs. So in this graph, you see that we're starting at origin. Looks like uniform acceler uh, uniform motion, excuse me, constant velocity um, in this first segment, which we can label A. Um, and it looks like it's going up five every one second. So our velocity here would be five meters per second. And it's in the positive direction. All right, now right here, we have a horizontal line, okay? Now in a position versus time graph, that's telling us that our position is not changing. So horizontal lines on position, position versus time graphs mean that we are at rest, okay? So horizontal line on a position versus time we're not changing positions, so we're at rest. All right, so this is exactly what we were just talking about. Same, um, same idea. Straight line means that our velocity is constant. So we have, again, no, um, it's all uniform motion. And we're going at the slope of this is 5 meters per second. So we're going at a velocity of 5 meters per second for a total of 5 seconds. Then there is an abrupt stop, and we remain at rest for the next 10 seconds. Okay, so understand that um, when we're looking at our position, we have a positive coordinate and a negative coordinate. All that's telling us is where our position is. Okay, so um, basically our position is always described in terms of the x-axis, um, because that's where we get to zero position, zero, zero, which is always considered origin. And then we move in the positive or north direction um, away, or we move in the negative or south direction away from the origin. So basically we, what we have going here is we have an object that has uniform motion right here, so constant velocity. Then it looks like it 
has an acceleration, which is actually slowing down. Um, and then it comes to rest. Then it abruptly changes direction, goes back towards the starting spot, and then goes past the starting spot on the other side. So opposite direction of where it was. Then we have this um, horizontal segment. Looks horizontal to me. So that means, again, we are at rest. And then this last little segment, you see that the um, slope is increasing. So that's telling us that we are accelerating. Um, our speed is increasing. Um, and we're going back towards origin. Okay, so some more example graphs. So A, A is over here. We leave origin, we're going forward, but we're not going very fast because you see this is a, um, not a very steep slope. Okay, in B, we are at rest, horizontal. We're staying at the same position. That means that we are not moving at all. So our velocity is zero. All right, now here, we turn around, we go back towards origin, and then we keep progressing past origin, um, passing where we were. We're also, our slope is greater here than it was for A, so we're moving much more quickly there too. All right, so let's look at an example. So we have this graph. Um, we have position and we have time. We're still talking about position versus time. Um, so meters is on our y-axis, time is on our x-axis. The, um, the graph shows you all of the different motion that's occurring, and it labels each segment for us so that we can talk about it. Um, so it wants to know which intervals was um, this person moving in a positive direction. So a positive direction just means that they are going towards the more positive part. So here's positive direction. There they're going in a positive direction, and that's where it ends. Okay, now negative directions. Negative directions mean that we are um, going towards the more negative side or back towards origin um, into the negative region, so more southerly. Okay, so we are doing that um, here and here we have a negative direction. All right, so now let's look at where he was resting in a negative location. So it looks like here's a negative location where he's resting. Um, then it wants to know which was he resting in a positive location. Well, again, horizontal line, so, and it's in the positive location, so D would be that. Um, and then it wants to know which two intervals did he travel at the same speed. Okay, so basically it's wanting to know where we have the same slopes. So we need to look at slopes now. All right, so obviously we know all the horizontals are going to be zero. Um, so that's easy. They're not moving at all. All right, now looking at the area of B to find the slope, we could do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So our y for that very first spot would be 0. Let me change colors here. All right, would be, um, actually, we're going to go black. It shows up better. Okay, so we're going to be 0. And then our y direction here is going to be negative 2. And then our um, x direction up here is 5 for the first one. And two for the second one. So we got zero plus two is two, and then um, five minus two is three. So that's two over three or 0.67. Okay, so that's our, um, our velocity there. Okay, now looking at the next segment, it looks like at times from time six to time seven, we increased by three. So that means we went up three in just one second. So that's our three meters per second. All right, over here on this downward slope, we are going um, in one second from nine to 10, we are going from three to zero. So again, it's gonna be three meters per second, but now it's negative. It's going in the negative direction. 
All right, and then part E down here, again, you see the same thing, one second, moving three. So this is a neg another negative three meters per second. Okay, so basically, we have three of them that all are the same um, speed. So we have this one, this one, and this one. All right, so now for just a little position versus time graph uh, recap here. Um, our quadrants are positive uh, relative to the starting point. So up here we have our positive quadrant, and then here's our negative quadrant. Um, all right, so you see that um, if we are going in the positive direction from origin, it's going to be this line here. Um, and you could basically determine where the position is at any of these time points along the x-axis by just reading straight up to whatever the corresponding y value is. Remember that our slope of our lines is velocity in meters per second. And we have not even talked about the area under the curve because it shows us absolutely nothing for these kinds of graphs. Um, important things to look for in a position versus time graph. Look at the shape of it. Is it curving or is it straight lines? That's going to tell you if it's a constant or changing velocity, which would be non-uniform. The slope. The slope is going to tell you the magnitude of the velocity, and it also tells you the direction. Um, and the importance of slope is all about steepness. The steeper it is, the faster you're moving. The less steep it is, the slower you're moving. And acceleration, you can get acceleration and direction and magnitude from looking at the curved lines. And that's what will be coming up in one of the next podcasts.